For the world's two most popular TV manufacturers, 2017 will be a year of evolution rather than revolution. Nothing announced by Samsung and LG at CES 2017 has taken us completely by surprise, but the debate between OLED and quantum dot screen technology rolls on for another year. So let's take a closer look at what LG and Samsung have in store for 2017. LG stole the show with its new ultra-thin OLED TV, showing Samsung exactly what they can't do with its LCD backlit TVs. Without the need for a backlight, OLED TVs can be much thinner, with LG OLED W taking it to the extreme at just 2.6mm thick. But this pricey flagship LG could be seen as simply smoke and mirrors for more modest updates to its usual OLED range. The new G7, E7, C7 and B7 promise the same deep blacks, defined contrast and vibrant colours that their 2016 OLED TVs delivered. This year's OLEDs will be 25% brighter and LG has fine-tuned some of the colour accuracy, meaning they should pack a bit of extra punch but it's unlikely they'll be head and shoulders above their predecessors in terms of picture quality. Samsung, on the other hand, has resolutely stuck by their quantum dot technology that we saw on its premium 2016 TVs but now under the new moniker QLED. With a new backlighting system that throws light in more directions, this year's QLED TVs should have wider viewing angles and less drop off in picture quality when watching off center. With these TVs, Samsung has also introduced a new no gap mounting mechanism and a transparent five meter fiber optic cable connecting to HDMI and USB ports to make wall mounted TVs look neater. LG has also launched new Super UHD TVs these use what LG call a nano-cell screen technology, rather than OLED. In real terms, this should mean that LG's LCD backlit Super UHD TVs have more accurate colours and wider viewing angles. These will also likely be priced more closely to Samsung's QLED TVs compared to its pricier OLED sets. Of course, we'll see whether the improvements both manufacturers are claiming here translate into better performance in our lab later in the year. But for more news from CES 2017, Keep checking which tech daily.